What's going on, everybody? Lexington, Kentucky card show was this past Saturday. I was set up as a dealer there, and I don't have much of a really footage to show you guys because I got there, literally put out my 12 50 cent uh, card value boxes, and I had people already going through them until I got this display out you guys see on the table. And I think there was actually a couple of these cards. Yeah, I could see the blank spots already sold as I was, you know, still setting up. So it was a really, really good show for uh, for me as a seller. Um, had Wooten's Sports Cards. If you guys uh, do whatnot, check out Wooten Sports Cards. W-O-O-T-E-N Sports Cards on whatnot. He actually makes a pretty good drive out from the uh, border of Kentucky, West Virginia, out to this show. He picked up some nice cards for me, two Herbert autos and a Palu Malu 101 printing plate auto. Really nice cards. Appreciate the, uh, working with me on a deal for those. And I appreciate everybody coming by, going through the value boxes. Uh, I try to think here, stuff that's sold. There was a Robert Parrish auto sold. Shaq Auto sold. You can see the Robert Perry. She's kind of hanging by Malone there. As you can see, Shaq is already, I believe, sold this time. No, he's still there. The K. Ruse sold. The Johnny Bench Auto sold. The Stockton Auto sold. Um, that I could see in the pictures. I think I came home with everything else up there. Possibly. Possibly. So I'm going to show you guys a couple pictures that I got to take very early in the show so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So that was me, two tables long, had all the boxes put out, 12 of them, and it was just, I want to say we sold two and a half boxes, so that would be the equivalent of, if there is 200 a row times 10, 2,000 cards roughly out of those. That's a lot. Yeah, don't get me wrong, because 12 boxes, so two, four, there's 800 cards per box, roughly. You could fit uh, the smaller top layers. There's a lot of thicker cards and stuff in there, too, so give or take, you know, probably a couple hundred on each way. But being able to sell over 2,000 cards, roughly out of, was that, 9,800-ish cards or something like that that I brought with me, 12 times eight's 96, so that 9,600 cards, roughly. I'd probably go more towards the 9400 mark onto it, but that's that's a lot. They will be restocked for this weekend in Louisville, Kentucky. I already have a full box. It's brand new, and be another box plus it'll be going out. Uh, depending how these storms come through, I'll be top loading and restocking for the next two days for that show. Give you guys one more picture, but that's that's literally as I was getting set up. I mean, people were just. Hit, Hitting them boxes. I mean, guys are grabbing, you know, 100 plus cards, 200 plus. Um, one guy bought a whole box pretty much out of it. Um, it. It was insane. I knew the value boxes at 50 cents a card would be more of a bigger hit. And that's from buying out collections and where you're going through the boxes. You know, and you're just like, hey, 50 cents, 50 cents, because you're pretty much, you know, I buy them at like $20 for a 3,200 count box to 25 on like the 5,000 count boxes, stuff like that there. And just digging through and finding those cards to put into the value boxes, because there's there's a lot of room on to that. And it gets me to move through that inventory, move into newer stuff, and then so on and so forth. But I think you guys get the idea. I don't think that, you know, going out and just, you know, buying somebody's whole table out of this stuff. Yeah, I, mean, I guess you couldn't then repost it all in a dollar piece. You'd probably do pretty well, too. But a lot of guys that do eBay were in there. Um, Com C, have shops. You know, it, it was really, really good. I think I cleaned up around 3 o'clock, which is really odd for me being in Lexington that late. And let's see, got home probably a little after five that day. So it was a long Saturday. I wanted to get this video out sooner, but really couldn't. And I sat there. I'm like, I really didn't even get to walk inside to get a video. Didn't look at anybody's displays. Uh, I bought, uh, I traded one card and then I, and there was like a Philip Rivers auto for a uh, cousin's rookie patch auto. 
which I don't even know where I stuck it at because I was packing stuff up here. And then a young gentleman came around. I bought an older Frankie Robinson um, card from him and a Buster Posey patch. Uh, he was walking around trying to sell, you know, and I figured, hey, nobody else is buying from me. I'll buy something on T. I haven't bought anything all day, really. Uh, tables were $25 a piece, had two of them, so you had to calculate that in the cost and all that. But really, really good show. If you guys were there, um, please comment how the show was inside. I have no idea, other than talking to a few people that I know, so they got some pretty decent stuff into there. Uh, wish I got to walk around more in there. But as you walked into the Lexington show, as you can see from this picture here, you have the room itself. And it's like at the end of the building, so before you get in the room, there's like the big open hallway. You had people there, and it wrapped around to the back, and I was around the back side. And it was just busy the whole time there. Literally, we st when I started, I had one chair, as you can see there. There were four or five chairs there when I left. <laughs> so a lot of people came, sat down, went through the boxes. I appreciate taking your time going through them. Hopefully, you guys got some... Good deals. I'll throw a couple sneaky things into the other boxes up in Louisville. I'm sure they were picked out of these very quickly. But, yeah, really, really good show from a seller standpoint. Again, I don't usually keep... Well, I do record just in case of theft and stuff like that, but I don't usually show those videos of deals and stuff. I just... I don't know. It just it always feels like it's forced, if you know what I mean. So if you ever come by, you know, want to do a deal with me, the camera's on, but I don't normally post that stuff. It's more for hey, did somebody swipes something or like if I had to get up to use the bathroom, I'm not near anybody I know and ask somebody else to watch and they're busy. Did somebody swipe something type deal? But that is it for the Lexington show. Again, sorry I didn't have more of a video, but it, it was just packed. Um... Uh, I was told, I think I was the only person that had like that amount of value boxes out there for people to go through. Again, I don't know. I wasn't there. But inside, really, to look at the stuff. You guys know what I'm saying. A little tired. But other than that, guys, appreciate you always watching the videos. Hopefully, I get to catch you guys at the JJ All-Star Show. Boxes are still packed. There's a lot of stuff in there uh, that people can use. I'm telling you. Uh, a lot of the prism numbered stuff is now all gone. That's what a majority of the stuff that went the 16, 17, 18 stuff I remember seeing. All right, guys, I'm out for real this time. Take care, stay safe from storms, and I'll catch you guys on the Com C video that'll be next posting.